Now, for match three of the yellow bracket, we have Dantu 12's uh, Merit Military Company Didal versus Sai's Little Pony. Sai, who of course added himself a new showrun. But let's finish here. Close support Liliths. And a new Lilith as well, uh, with exactly the same loadout. Yeah, so one, two, three, four Liliths. A uh, Foraker with Pylums and Grazer PDs. Three wings of Angha Bombers. And a new Cemetery with exactly the same loadout as the one from last week, which is Thermal Lance, Grazer PDs, Windstalker MRMs, and a Belial PPC. And now we have... The Tiandong with the Iron Assault Destroyers from last week, the Artillery Class Gunships from last week with the Heavy Molar and the Velocity Drivers, and Assault Gunship with what looks to be like Ion Torpedo Racks, Heavy Needlers, and Burst Flak Cannons, and the Shorun, the Cruiser, with a huge variety of weapons, an Iron Torpedo Rack, Mjolnir Cannon, Heavy Needler, Flare Burst Launcher, two Vulcan Cannons, and two Ion Beams. Again, it's this is going to be a numbers versus cruiser. Let's see how this goes. Uh, match three, game one. Let's see how this happens. Points wise, how are we doing? Uh, about the same, as close as we've had it. There are about 150 points either side, so this is as close we've had point side we've seen. Candle managed to get their... Oh, there's the bomber wings. But the flare burst launcher is helping out. The active flare burst launcher fires the flares that actively try to hunt down the missiles. There's too much point defense there. Those bombers won't be able to do much without support. Okay, let's focus on people. Let's focus on someone who's not going to jump around. Focusing on the cemetery. There's too much jumping around for my tastes. Let's focus on you. So, ooh, hello. This is key. This is big. This is big. Those Belials took a massive chunk out of the um, Shorin. Shorin's kind of key in the Tiangdong lineup, and it took a massive pummeling. About 60% of its health is now gone. It just sat down in front of a couple of cemeteries and took some Belials to the face. That was actually... Very aggressive by the Mayorate, and it's 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 yielding results. That's a lot of damage to the um, to that Shorun. That Lilith's got no health at all, but that is a, a nice showing. Now, all they need to do is do that again. If managed to pull it off again, that Shorun is that if if that Shorun dies, then a large part of the Tiandong advantage is gone. That Lilith is dead now. <laughs> That was kind of anticlimactic. That Lilith is dead now. Okay. That Shorin is still... Okay, it's taking a lot of damage, but it's still, it can still do a lot of damage. It's still got a couple of iron beams, so just... Slowly EMPing anyone who gets too close. Uh, the other cemetery is fighting the Chan Z down here. And it's it's come out worse for wear. It's definitely come out come out worse for wear. That trip hammer is very strong. That trip hammer is very strong. That trip hammer was the entire reason the Tiandong um, almost won last week. I was gonna say did so well. Almost won last week because those trip hammers can just delete small ships. Oh, Tiamat has overloaded. Uh, where is the team I overloaded? Probably that one. Eh, that's not the important thing right now. The important thing is this Shorin right here. All of these they need to do is get it into that corner again. They let it back up against the wall because the Shorin has a very weak shield at the very back. It's gotten a huge weak point at the back. But if it manages to keep its back against the map edge. Oh, they're grouping up as well. They're grouping up as well. Last week, Tiandong was a very, very, very much a teamwork operator. Ooh, hello, hello, hello. Come on, Trip Hammer. Get those shots in. Ah, oh, come on. Get those shots in. 
Ooh, Tiamat's gonna go down, I think. That Tiamat's gonna go down. It cannot. It's sitting in front of the Shorun. And down it goes. Ooh, and it's got. It's hitting that from the back as well. The Mjolnir is definitely doing work. The range of the Mjolnir is very, very useful. And we go back to you. Hang on, who's doing what at the moment? And nothing's happening over there. And. Uh, Switch back to you. I gotta say, if if the Tiandong win this one, it's because the mirror kind of threw it slightly. You're right. I want things to die. I want things to... All of this sort of waiting around and waiting for CR to drop down to zero, I want things to die. Things have got to be eaten alive now. Ooh. Like I said, if the Shorin wins this thing, it's because the Mayrit let him win. They had him against the ropes. They had him against the ropes. Like, because of the fact that the Cimeteras have their Thermal Lances and two Belial PPCs each, if they just sat in his face and shot it, they would have killed it so quickly. They took down 60% of its health without even trying. Oof. Come on, come on, come on. That scimitar is in very low health now. Ooh! Oh, I managed to sneak in a heavy molar side just behind, just beside the shield. Just beside that shield. If that shield goes down... Oh, nope. Yep, that worked. Double kill. I think what happened there was that the Nanzong killed the scimitar and then the scimitar explosion killed the Nanzong. Double kill in the back there. Nicely done. That was cool. Uh, I approve. Um, and I think it's going to be a win for the Tiandong. I think the cemetery is the only destroyer left on this side. Now, I th I'm fairly certain what happened was that the Nanzong shot the cemetery and the cemetery explosion killed the Nanzong. Hello! Come on. Oh, no. And they threw it. What's left now is we have a Lilith and the Forsake and the Foraker. And the Lilith over there. Tiamat, Lilith, and Aphorica are in the company Anger Bomber Wings. Ooh! Low CR, though. I didn't realize your CR was that low. Huh. I did not realize your CR was that low. Do you have safety overrides on that one? No, this, is the, this has been a very good fight. This has been a very, very good fight. Again, if the AI had just sat in front of it, if the AI had just sat in front and taken down the Shorun, it would have been a very different match, I think. Because this is definitely a cruiser versus numbers, and the numbers had the chance to take the, the cruiser out of it. Like I said, this is a cruiser versus numbers, and numbers had a chance to take the cruiser out. And the AI just didn't capitalize on it, unfortunately. Okay, so you're gonna basically do nothing for the time being. I'm gonna go back to map Moo until we have something a bit more interesting. Until the Shorun turns up again. Because, like I said, that's on low lowish health, but... Because it's a cruiser, its CR hasn't even taken a hit. Its CR is right up there. So it can it can fight for hours still. Okay, that's a good check. Yeah, they have maximized ordnance. You're right, they have maximized ordnance. So that's why their CR is just dropping so quickly. Um, But I think it's pretty much gone. Yeah, your CR has gone down to zero. That Tiamat... It's taking damage. All it needs is a bit of focus fire. Uh, or it needed is basically the other Danzongs. Because you have the heavy needler. These guys have the high velocity and the heavy molar. They could definitely do work on that. And there we go. Mjolnir's coming in. There you go. And all we need now is the Foraker to die. And we've pretty much called it. 
33% of the Forker right now, but uh, let's be honest, that's not going to go anywhere. Stop focusing on the bombers, guys. The carrier's right there. Oh, and do they actually even have any bomber wings left? No, that was the last bomber wing. All we have left now is this Foraker. Which I'm hoping pronouncing correctly. Foraker or Foraker? I think it's Foraker, personally. Yep. Yep. CR hasn't even dipped. I can't check what the peak performance time is, but CR has not even dipped. And the double, the double ion beams and the, the Mjolnir. Get out of the way, the Mjolnir is the, the important thing. Let the Mjolnir fire. Um, like Sai said, apparently Sai's entire fleet, uh, at least the, the Chanzi and the Shurin, are meant to be aggressive, which means... You should definitely be closing within range of all weapons. I mean, the Heavy Needler would have made this over a long time ago. The Heavy Needler would have taken all the shields down. The AI needs tweaking. Come on. Why are they being so passive? It's a carrier that's fluxed out. Thank you. Finish it off. Mazel tov. It's a win. That is uh, game one goes to size Tiandong. Um, the Merit almost had it. The Merit could have taken out that Shorin. If they took out that Shorin, it would have been a different game. And now we get to see if they do it from the other perspective. From the Tiandong perspective, I want to see if basically... Because if the Merit did what they did last time and get both the Cimeteres right up into the face of the Shorin, managed to flux it out, they can kill it. They can definitely kill it. I mean, they can kill it if they flank it. They've got the number of ships required to flank it. All they need to get is a Lilith behind it to start shooting behind it with a TPC. But that's not going to happen. But I want to see if they manage... They deployed everything good. If they manage to get this Shorin dealt with. Yeah, the AI, over, the AI overvalues fighters, gets real cautious. It considers fighters to be more dangerous than they actually are. I mean, fighters are dangerous, but sometimes they do focus the entire fire on it. Uh, right, Shorin. You're in the middle, so I can actually focus on you and zoom out quite a bit. Okay, so... See? Look at that, look at that, look at that. Get in there, deal the damage, deal the damage. Look at that! Where was that last time? I mean, the cemeteries can do so much damage if they just get in your face. They can just jump forward when you least expect it, but double Delisle PPCs, especially if you have no armor at the front. Which you definitely don't. After that attack, you definitely have no armor at the front. And now... No, fire this one. Look how much damage... Look how much flux damage those Belials do. Those Belials are really good at almost fluxing these things. Like I said, the, the Merit... The Merit is throwing this. Because the, the, those Scimitars and those the Belials can definitely do so much damage. One Lilith's down. That. See, it dashes in. Look at that. It dashes in and just goes wham. That took all of a. That took all of five seconds to do. Where's the second scimitar? Ooh, hello. Possibly not sitting in front of a, of of. No, no, no. This is going to be a close fight. Especially that the bombers have joined in. Ooh. Nope, there you go. One Chanzi is down. The Merit can do this. The Merit can definitely do this. Those cemeteries are not to be underestimated. They're definitely not to be underestimated. 
Those cemeteries can do so much damage. Everything else is a distraction for the cemeteries, I swear to god. Look at that! Nanzong, down! That ion beam is playing hob with it, true, and now it's got the trip hammer in its face. But... Ooh. Letting it go. Letting it go. That Nanzong is willing to retreat as well. The crafty. Is that crafty? Which is crafty? Uh, that's crafty. That's taking a lot of damage as well. Numbers are winning. Numbers are winning. The cemeteries got in and killed what they could. They got in and killed what they could. This is a far more interesting match. This is what I want. This is what I want. Death and destruction and potential utilized. Potential underutilized under potential is the... Oh... One Tiamat down, but again, the Tiamat wasn't really doing... Oh ho ho! The Nanzong is down, they traded. We're down to, basically, that Nanzong, that Chanzi is on no health at all, and the Shorin. Come on! You can do this! Jump in there! Ooh, maybe not like that. Oh! Ooh! Oh, no! Cemetery down! Cemetery down! Nanzong down. Okay, so... We're trading here. We're trading. Oh, 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 oh! Chansey down. It's the Shorin alone. The Shorin alone. Those Belials. Those Belials do so much damage. Yep. I think Mira has this one. Definitely. Played. 1-1. One, one. One, one. Uh, hang on. Eh, I do read the flux bar. I don't know, anger bombers are terrifying. I use them a lot in my last playthrough. Which is what I'm saying. Like the, the Mayrit, like Mayrit has the numbers and the damage on their side. They're not. They haven't just got things fly around to distract enemies. They've got things fly around that can do damage. Which is why I said they threw the first match. But now we get to see the third match, and I get to flip a coin now because I want to figure out who starts. Okay, let's flip a coin. <laughs> Our first third match of the day, indeed. Okay, right. Heads, we see this from the Tiandong perspective. And tails, we see this from the Mayor perspective. Flip, coin, catch. Tails, Mayor perspective it is. Whoop. Cool. So, again, for the first match three of the game, the first game three of the evening, I can't speak words anymore. Let's do this. Again, I think you guys have this. You threw the first match away. This has been definitely a satisfying match. I want to see how this do. I want to see what the cemeteries do. Because the cemeteries, again, it's all up to them. The Liliths can make use of, like, intermediate weak spots. But the cemeteries have so much upfront damage. Not saying that they don't. The Anghar Bombers are doing a lot of job, but the cemeteries need to follow up on that. You need to jump in and make use of the fact that that flux bar is so high. That's your job right now, is to go after that, and you're letting him go. You're letting him go. You gotta make use of the fact of when the CR go, when the flux bars go high. When the Anghar Bombers raise the flux bar. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Oh, here we go, here we go, into the face, into the face, into the face. Behind, behind, behind! And got in, <laughs> and lost everything. That ion beam hit at exactly the right time, and they lost everything. Ooh, that ion beam was at exactly the wrong moment. That ion beam was at exactly, and someone's got the same name as me in chat. This is gonna get really confusing. There's a Nemo in chat. Flame them. Don't flame them. Oh God. 
Hang on. That's gonna bother me now. That's Nemo's and Nemo's backwards. I feel... Do I know you? Anyway. Anyway. You're distracting me from an important match. This is not fair. Okay. Let's keep an eye on you. Where's the second cemetery? What are you doing up there? Come on. Come on, don't devolve. You were being so aggressive before. Play this out. Make it good. Oh, 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 oh. Lilith down. Lilith taking a lot of damage. Foraker! Foraker's taking damage! The carrier is down! Uh, don't think there are any bomber wings left, but the carrier's down. Did I see any bomber wings? Maybe not. Uh, hang on, where are we? Let's focus on you. Because, it's like I said, it's all down to the cemeteries. The cemeteries need to capitalize. They need to get in there and do the damage they're capable of doing. Okay. Right. I think the mayor are not going to have this one, I'm afraid. That's just sitting there and taking the damage. Sorry, Dan, but uh, your cemetery captains are not the same. They are not the same. <laughs> Excuse me, no swearing in my channel. I try so hard not to swear. Do not swear in my channel. Stupid Lilith. I try so hard not to swear, and then that ship just goes ahead and swears for me. Come on! I'm gonna find that ship. Uh, another rematch? That's up to you guys. Uh, this is the this this is the tiebreaker. This is the tiebreaker. Lola Lilith is down. The shard hasn't even been doing much at the moment. To be fair, I'd be dropping them as well if I was in their position. Ooh, that lan that thermal lance hurts. That thermal lance does a lot of damage. It just stripped the frontal armor off. Like I said, the Mayorit has the damage. They've got the weapons. They've got the speed to use them. They're just not doing them. And the fleet is in full retreat. So, no more coordination. <laughs> like they had coordination. Um, but, yeah. If I do another match, it's going to be after this. It's going to be after everything else. You know? Oh. If I do another match, it's going to be at the end of everything as I'm taking a rest. Because this is this has to be the guaranteed match. But the green ship is so pretty. Okay. Let's do this out now. No one's really juking it out at the moment. Flux War, but the Flux War's already won, been won. There you go. And that's that there. We're just waiting for the Shorin to turn up now. You guys are what? Fine. The Shorin's kind of doing nothing at the moment. The Shorin's just worried about capturing a point. Yeah, Nemo. Mouse over the enemies, Nemo. I'm gonna use you to deflect all criticism now. That's not your function. You're my complaints department. Oof, no. Again, a good selection of matches. A good selection of matches. Personally, I think the mayor went through it. Um, again, uh, as, a, as a whole throughout the entire tournament so far, the key word has been um, unrealized, un unfulfilled potential. Um, but yeah, there you go. 2-1, uh, our first 2-1 of the night. 2-1, the size Tiandong versus Dan 212's Mayorit. Oh, hey. Okay, how do you guys want this to work? Since you're both in chat right now. Um... How do you guys want this uh, Tiandong versus Mayrit battle to work? Do you want this to be an official battle? Do you want this to be a redo of the the tiebreaker? 
or just uh, for fun games. You guys have to agree with each other, but I'll let it happen. Uh, hang on, so, hang on, you said it, Sai, it's kind of, it kind of scrolled out the way. Uh, ignore the win of the win of the third. Okay, so we're basically redoing the tiebreaker, right? Okay. Um, I'm going to flip the coin again, because it's a redo of the tiebreaker. So, heads, um, Tiandong, tails, it'll be uh, Mayorit. Tails again, Mayorit perspective. Uh, no, Mayorit perspective. Okay, right. This is a redo of the tiebreaker of the Mayorit Tiandong match. Uh, I was going to say, it's, it could be from the other perspective, but the point is it's meant to be a tiebreaker. And we're still not entirely sure if watching it from perspective changes how the AI works. Uh, see you, Knight. Uh, commiserations on this one. But, uh... That rubber fly was insane. <laughs> the, the rubber fly buzzsaw. Definitely. Anyway. Let's let this play out. Um... This is a redo of the tiebreaker match because uh, both the people wanted to redo. Both of the the uh, fleet designers wanted one of them. And let's see again. See that this is good. They're being aggressive. Both of them are coming up together. Get in there and kill things. Go in there together and delete things from existence. That is your chance. That is the entire thrust of the merit. Go here. It is the entire thrust what we're going to go here. Don't split up! No, you need to stay together. Get the kills in. Get the kills in. Okay. In the face. See! Look at that! Look at that! Do it! Your missiles weren't even targeted at the right guy. Hmm. I think this is going to be the last time I, 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 I uh, played out a Tiangdong match because... Uh, Okay, so let's, let's, see, let's see this out. Okay. Okay, so this is this should be a delete, right? That should be a delete, but that was a very weird thing. The windstalkers like didn't go for the ship ahead of it. That was a weird one. Okay, one Lilith is down to that Chanzi. That scimitar is took a bit of damage, or not? It's smoking. Ah, 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 stop, go away. Uh, okay, what am I looking at? What do I want, what do I want? Okay, you're still the most important one, I think. They've got to make use of these moments. They've got to make use of these moments that they're not doing it. Yeah. The AI is really conservative. And it's a scimitar over there taking damage. Eh, no, not really. Still over here. You got a scratch. I will say that this cemetery has got a lot more bravery this time. Those ion beams are playing hob with a lot of the stuff as well. Those ion beams are a good choice in the showroom. They stop things from being able to focus on it. Those iron beams are definitely helping out. Okay, so. What's the situation? Let's let it go for a bit. A little bit is taking damage. I've got the showroom over here. Okay, I'm still kind of following it in the background, but I want to look at the map as well. Hello. Trip hammer to the face. Those railguns also... Ooh, there you go. And... Okay, Cemetery 1 is down. Lilith is down. Cemetery 2 is taking damage from the Mjolnir. Like I said, yeah, um... Dan, 
I generally like we don't look I generally suspect that um, the um, AI behaves differently depending on point of view, which is why I'm happy to do game one from one perspective and game two from another perspective, but I think game three has to be a coin flip. Because that's the only way, I think. I still don't know if there is a bias or not even a bias, just a, an AI difference. Oh, no, the earth is down. <laughs> Ooh, a ram! That angel went so hard. I think with that, with the with the flame out that's going on because of all the um, EMP damage, it's a bit, pretty much a foregone conclusion here. Yep, there you go. It's what's left: two Tiamats, an angel bomber wing, and the carrier. Uh, because that would take forever, Nemo. Because that would take forever. The matches are getting longer and longer and longer. Like I said, Dan... Um, the, the power is there, it's just the AI isn't capable of using it. This is... this, like, tournament is as... Uh, is about the same level of design as not what you would have in single player but what can the ai make best use of because some of these like designs are be amazing in single player but the ai just does not know how to make use of them S safety overrides is key in that but uh i think you're pretty much gonna die soon right there you go i come in and you're flexed out those heavy molars are definitely gonna have fun oh the mjolnir joins in Nope, nope. And just the Tiamat left. Um, the reason you're alive for so long is because this thing can't really capitalize on damage. It's got a heavy needler, but... Uh, all we're doing now is waiting for something to come on you and kill you. Like I said, the, uh, things like about timed matches and stuff would be a good idea, but I think with things like timed matches and stuff, you definitely need to have... Um, an awareness of that. Like, say to people, your matches are going to last five minutes, ten minutes a match, and build like that. Because if you start putting in like a, a time limit now, all the fleets that were designed to not last that long are going to be in trouble. Anyway, there we go. A replay of the tiebreak of the uh, Tiandong Mayorit match is once again uh, to the Tiandong. Uh, this time, it was a completely um, unscathed win by the Tiandong. Well, that's the end of the matches for this week. We have ourselves, as a replay, we have Xander Zhu and Kairos Farseer. Chaos won that 2-0. Oryxon beat Zarkon by 2-0. Borgril beat Kisamiz by 2-0. Karoi beat Fallen Shogun by 2-0. Sai beat Dan to 12, 2 to 1. And Norgo's match with the Rubberfly Buzzsaw took out Aura Knight 2 0. Oh, my throat is really suffering right now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's been about two hours of stream. And I will catch you, uh, two and a half hours because I started about 9 I started about 9.30 for prep work. And I will catch you guys next week. I will see you guys then. Bye.